In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use a concept mapping tool called VUE, V-U-E, which stands for Visual Understanding Environment. How to use it to create a concept map that you can turn into a presentation. I'll first show you what a presentation looks like in VUE, and then I will show you how to turn a concept map into a presentation using this tool. So for purposes of demonstration, I've already created a concept map. It's a concept map that shows the timeline of when William Shakespeare likely wrote his plays, running from Two Gentlemen of Verona in 1589 all the way up to the last play that he is thought to have authored or co-authored, The Two Noble Kinsmen in 1613. In this concept map, I haven't connected the various nodes or, or squares by means of lines because I think the, the horizontal and vertical arrangement in itself is enough to show the relationship among the various nodes. In other words, from left to right, we are moving through time from 1589 onwards. And in cases where there are one, two or more nodes stacked on top of each other, that means that all of those plays were likely written in the same year. So you'll notice that Henry the Sixth Part Two, Henry the Sixth Part Three, Henry the Sixth Part One, and Titus Andronicus are all thought to have been written around 1591. Before we get to the actual presentation demonstration, I want to show you a few other things that are kind of related to presenting using this tool. Namely, it's this, that all of these different nodes you can tag in different ways. So some of the plays I have tagged as romances, some as histories, some as tragedies, and some as comedies. So if you only want to show the comedies, then you simply click over here and turn off the other genres. So we can just see Shakespeare's comedies. If you want to see comedies and tragedies, turn tragedies back on. If you want to just see tragedies, turn comedies off, and so on. Let me turn on all of the tags again. The next thing I want to show you is that you can create various pathways through all of these nodes in the concept map. For example, you could create a pathway that simply goes from the earliest tragedy to the next tragedy and so on all the way to the latest tragedy. You could create another pathway that did the same thing for comedies, another pathway that did the same thing for histories. You could create a pathway for almost anything. Let's say you wanted to create a pathway that led the viewer through Shakespeare's plays that have a strong female character at their center. You could create that kind of pathway. So you can have multiple pathways. Now a pathway, once you create it, looks like this. This is a pathway of the history plays in chronological order. And right now it doesn't look like much, it's not very helpful, but this is moving towards using the concept map as a presentation. There's one other thing though that you need to know before we actually launch the presentation, and that is that each of these nodes can have a slide or an image associated with it. So if I go here up to view and then I click slide thumbnails, you'll see that little slides have appeared beside some of the nodes. And each of these slides contains further information. Uh, it, can, can, it can contain text, uh, images, uh, links, anything like that. You'll see in a second what the result is. So now let's launch the presentation based upon the pathway that I've created. I go here and I click playback and this is the first node, or rather the first slide, that's associated with the first node. And as you can see, there's some text that I've added there, there's a link at the top, and there's an image, a, a portrait of King John. The next slide for the play Edward III from 1592, and some more text images, again for Richard II, for Henry IV, Part 1, Henry IV, Part 2, and so on. We could go through all of the slides. 
I've exited the presentation mode and I'm back in the concept map mode and now it probably makes a little bit more sense what the lines connecting the various nodes here and also the slides that are associated with the different nodes what their purpose is. To summarize you have nodes in the concept map and you can also associate slides with each node and then you can create pathways among the nodes various pathways in order to lead the audience through the content in various ways. I'll now show you how to create a presentation from the concept map. We'll start with a concept map that doesn't have any pathways built into it yet. To begin your pathway you start with the node that you want to become the first slide in your pathway. You highlight it and then here in this little window you click Add and Henry the Sixth Part 2 has been added. Then we want Henry the Sixth Part 3 to be added next. We highlight, we select it and then we click Add and just one more Henry the Sixth Part 1 highlighted, click Add. We now have three slides in our presentation. However, at present, the slides that are in the presentation don't have any content in them. If we played the presentation, it would just be one blank screen after another. So what we need to do is add content to the slides. So I double click the first one and there is the slide. Now I think what I will first do is add an image. To add an image, I right click and then I select add image then I will go to a folder and I will select an image that I've already downloaded and there's the image of Henry the sixth I can resize it and if I want I can add some text so I'll just add something kind of at random and so on. So that's our first slide and that's how it will look once it's being displayed. We do the same thing with the second slide. First we select it, then we'll add another image and again we can add some text so on, as much text as we want. And we would continue to do that for all the slides that are in our presentation. Uh, to put it another way, all the slides that are in our pathway. Let's just view the first couple that we've made. So this is where it began. That's the first slide, second slide, and so on. In short, view or visual understanding environment is a good concept mapping tool to use if what you want to do is turn parts of your concept map into pathways which you can then present in a way that resembles a PowerPoint presentation. In other words, good for displaying images accompanied by some text.